Welcome to Smart Notebook Math Tools. In this session, we will look at how to use a compass. If I click on the secondary toolbar for the measurement icon tool, I will see displayed the four icons for the ruler, the protractor, the geodrive, and the compass tools. Selecting the fourth icon, I have now displayed on the workspace a compass, which if I hold the spike arm, I can drag the compass to other places on the workspace. By holding the pen arm, I can increase the width of the compass in either directions. I can also change the direction by pressing on the green arrow that goes from left to right. To change the pen color, I can either select the marker pen from the tray, as in the blue, or I can press on the toolbar to change my pen color to red. If I hold the green circle at the top, I can rotate around without drawing. To draw, I would hold the pen tip, and as I move around the circle, you can see the angle of rotation change. It remains vertical so that I can read the angle easily. Now let's see some of the functions as used in an example. Understanding the mean of a radian measure. First, pulling this tab, I have a definition for the radian measure of an angle, and that's defined as the length of the arc that subtends this angle at the center of a unit circle. So pressing on the secondary toolbar for a measurement icon, I have now the four tools, and I select the fourth icon for a compass, and holding the spike arm, I can move the compass to the origin or the center of the circle. And then holding the pen arm, increase the width to the circle. Now holding the pen tip itself, rotate around for 180 degrees. and you can read the measurements on the tip of the compass. So for a rotation of 180 degrees, we can calculate the arc length as being equal to half the circumference of a circle and since this circle has radius of 1, the arc length would just be pi radians. We could explore the arc length of different rotation angles. In our next session, we will look at how to use the geodriac.